is Miss Jenny coming to you today. I am from the Old Stone Church in Rockton, Illinois, and today I am here to talk to you about being a difference maker. I brought my box with me, and today in my box, I have something delicious. What this is? Mmm. That's a potato chip. Potato chips are delicious. You know why? Mostly because they're covered in salt. There's nothing better than a salty snack. What are some of your favorite salty snacks? How about pretzels? Pretzels are delicious. And how about french fries? I love french fries, even if it's just for a snack, maybe for lunch. Oh, uh, what's another one? How about popcorn? Popcorn is a delicious snack. You ever have it at the movie theater? But you know, the thing about those salty snacks is that without the salt, they aren't nearly as good. And as I said, I'm here to talk to you about being a difference maker. Salt is one of those things that makes a difference. Have you ever gotten a nice bowl of popcorn at your house to watch a movie? Or maybe you even went to the movie theater and you got some popcorn to watch a movie. And you sat down and started to eat it and watch the movie. And you realized that not all of it had salt on it. Right? So you had to stop the movie or you had to leave the movie at the theater and go back and get some more salt. Or how about pretzels without salt? They actually sell them that way. Can you believe that? They're just not nearly as good without salt, are they? Because salt makes a difference. Now, in Matthew 5, 13, Jesus tells us that we are the salt of the earth. And then he says, but if the salt loses its saltiness, it's not good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. Now, I think that's kind of funny around here because we just had a whole bunch of snow, didn't we? And guess what we did? We threw salt all over our sidewalks and our driveways for people to trample on, didn't we? Now, I don't think where Jesus lived they had any snow and ice, but it's kind of interesting that when you trample salt underfoot, what does it do? It melts the snow and it melts the ice and makes it safer for us to walk on, right? But if it loses its saltiness, it's not going to do that anymore, right? So it's not going to have the effect that salt has, kind of like popcorn, which is delicious until it doesn't have salt on it. And then we don't really want to eat it anymore. So today I brought something to show you one of the differences that salt makes. Okay. Now in Bible times, salt was very, very valuable. As a matter of fact, they even used it like we use money sometimes. You get paid in salt when you did your work. They used it for lots of things too. Not to melt snow, because most of the world didn't have snow at that time. But, at least where people lived. But they would use it for their food, like we use it. And they would use it even to preserve their food. Because if you put salt on food, it keeps it from going bad for a long time. So they would use it to preserve their food. They would also use it to clean things. Uh, what else would they use salt for? They'd use it to clean things. They would use it to um, disinfect things, to make things like to disinfect wounds. And they, the women would use it um, as a beauty scrub to make their skin pretty. So salt had a lot of uses in those times. Uh, today, I'm going to show you one of the things you may not know about salt. I have here two jars of water and I have some eggs. Okay. Now, what do you think is going to happen to this egg when I put it in the water? Do you think it's going to sink? That's what I think. So I'm going to show you here. I'm going to be very careful because I don't want the egg to break. So I'm putting it in. Oh, I don't think it broke. What happened to that egg? It sunk to the bottom, didn't it? Because it's nice and heavy. Now in this jar of water, I am going to put some salt. I'm going to add a little more water here so it's the same as the other one. I am going to dump some salt in this water. Lots of salt. Now all that salt is sitting there at the bottom in a big clump. Now I'm going to stir it up and spread out the salt in the water, okay? Now let's put an egg in this water. Shall we? Oh my goodness, do you see the egg? 
It's floating, isn't it? That egg is floating around in that salt water. That's pretty cool. So what happened? The salt made something that was heavy much lighter, didn't it? Now, what I want to talk to you about is how you can be salt on this earth, how you can make a difference, okay? When you use salt on something, it can make it more pleasing and more attractive to people. It can also make something that is difficult to understand or difficult to handle easier, kind of like this egg floated a lot easier when we put some salt in the water, right? So the Bible says that we are supposed to use the good news that God has given us to be salt and light in other people's lives. After Jesus talks about being the salt of the earth, he talks about being the light of the world. And when things are hard or difficult in life, bringing the good news we have about Jesus to people in their lives can make things a lot better for them because we show them that we have a purpose in life. When we serve the Lord, he gives us purpose and meaning and shows us how to live our lives in a way that brings people closer to him and that gives our lives meaning. And he also brings comfort and peace to our lives when we go to him in hard times and trust him to get us through them. So when we bring that salt, that good news into people's lives who don't know Jesus, it makes their lives better, right? Now, the other thing about salt is what happens if you put too much salt in your food? How about too much salt on your popcorn? Have you ever salted your popcorn and put too much salt in one spot and then eaten it? It's kind of hard to eat, isn't it? It's really, really salty. So Jesus talks to us about being the salt of the earth also because sometimes we can come on too strong with the good news. We're so excited about what God has done in our lives and how much better he makes things for us that we can kind of really, really, really want people to, to uh, come to church with us and to sing songs with us about Jesus and to pray with us all the time until things get better. And that can be too much for people who don't know Jesus. We just need to take the salt, the good news of Jesus Christ, and we need to bring it and sprinkle it gently in people's lives. Not just by the way we live our lives, but letting people know where we go when we're in hard times and why we live our lives the way we do by telling them the good news of Jesus Christ. That good news will shine a light in the darkness or the sadness in their lives, and then that light draws them into the love of God. And the Bible says that when the love of God is shed abroad, that he steps into those people's lives and he does the rest of the work for us. So being a difference maker is really important. It's really important wherever you go to take the good news of Jesus Christ with you and not to hide that light that he's given you, the good news, not to hide it away, but to let people see why you love the Lord and why you live the life that you live and where you go in hard times. I wanna to sing to you a little song about that today too. What do you think? So I brought my guitar here. I might have to turn this camera a little bit. And I'm gonna sing a little song about being the salt and light of the earth. salt of the earth and you you are the salt of the earth if the salt loses its saltiness how can it be made salty again if the salt loses its saltiness how can it be made salty my friend make a Thirsty for the word of God. Make them thirsty, thirsty for the word because you are the light of the world. And you, you are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill that cannot be hidden, so let your light shine. You're a city that is set on a hill, you know you can't be hidden, so let your light shine. Show them Jesus, Jesus in the word of you. Show them Jesus, Jesus be
the salt of the makes a very positive difference in people's lives and that we are to be like salt in other people's lives by showing them the love of Jesus and the purpose he gives us in life, right? But we also learned that sometimes we can come on too strong, just like when there's too much salt on your popcorn and we need to be careful when we're sharing the love of Jesus that we are doing it in a way that brings comfort and hope to people and doesn't push them away. We also learned that if we lose that purpose and that meaning in life, it means that we can't be effective in other people's lives and shine a light in the darkness that they're dealing with. So it's important to keep our eyes on Jesus. It's important to remind ourselves of the truth that's in his word. And it's important to serve him in the things we do to help others. When we do kind things for other people, we are doing kind things as our worship and our service to the Lord. And he sees that. And he uses that in other people's lives to draw us closer to each other and closer to him. So I hope that you will all come and join us Sunday morning at 9 a.m. at the Old Stone Church, where Pastor Bob is going to talk even more about being the salt of the earth. And I'm so glad you joined me today. Here, uh, my, again, my name is Miss Jenny, and I am the Music Ministry Director at Old Stone Church in Rockton, Illinois. I hope to see you there. Have a great day, everybody.